stage 67 is the brake and throttle linkages. So as you can see, you get a lot of small parts for this stage, so you need to be careful you don't lose any of these bits. Um, you get some grub screws and collars, and these are the um, throttle rod guides. And you also get the uh, main power switch as well. Start by screwing the brake piston onto the threaded end of the throttle rod and just turn that on until around about halfway. You can then screw in two grub screws into two of the collars and then slide the collars onto the throttle arm. About this position will be okay for now and then just tighten that up. Then you can fit the guide in this position and then a spring and then another collar and then tighten the second collar up as well Next, using a 10mm screw you can fit the throttle arm assembly into the end hole on the servo arm. So just put the, the guide over the hole and then pop the screw in and tighten it up. You can then fit the second of the guides um, into the inner hole of the servo arm. So just fit that with a, another 10mm screw. Then with the guide firmly in place you can slide in the brake rod and the instructions ask you to cut in half the brake rod tube so then fit this half onto the brake rod and then a collar and then just tighten that collar with a grub screw. The wording in the instructions does skip over this installation of the um, brake rod tubing, but it is clearly shown in the um, photographs on the instruction sheet. Um, you'll be adjusting the linkages um, later in the build as well, so that's all you need to do for now on this part. To continue the assembly, you then need to remove the engine once again, just by undoing the four hex key bolts underneath the chassis and then just put the engine to one side and then take the upper plate and fit this so that the brake piston goes through the center hole on this side so then just press that into position like this then you can secure that with um, the 10 mil screws Next, fit the brake lever over the brake piston, like this, and then secure that with a 10mm screw. Fit the free end of the brake rod into the hole in the brake lever by pushing up inside from underneath. And then fit the final collar and grub screw over the end of the brake rod to secure it into place and then tighten the grub screw. Next you're going to fit the rear lower arms to the um, differential mounts. So just take the left lower arm, insert the pin all the way through and then pop the drive shaft in to the hub fit the pin into the recessed hole in the rear of the um, mount and then you also need to get the drive shaft into place as well. With both the lower arms fitted you can then attach the tie rods to the um, ball headed screws on top of the um, wheel hubs and just push them into place like this. With both of the lower arms in place and the tie rods connected as well, 
you then need to fit on the um, rear bumper and this has holes on the reverse for um, the four screws plus two holes for the uh, metal pins in their lower arm so you need to make sure that they all line up and fit in together so line the pins up first and then push the bumper into place like this and then secure it with um, the four screws with the rear bumper secured with the four screws you can then turn the assembly over and fit a final 10mm screw into the um, chassis to secure the bumper Then finally for stage 67 you can fit the left brake disc. Um, this is fitted the same way as the right brake disc so just fit it over the um, hub and push it into place on the two projections like this. Um, the disc itself should face forward on the, on the car and then secure it with the two small screws from the inside. Um, it may be easier to release this tie rod to do this, but you may find you can do it without. Um, and that completes stage 67.